jewelry will be on sale as gold and silver continue to melt down. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Update for Wednesday, July the 6th. And as I said, gold and silver continue to get pounded. Uh, gold is, is lower by about nine bucks today. Silver is actually silver is slightly higher, but the big meltdown is on. And I think one thing you got to remember is it's not what you think. It's not what you read. It's the actual price action in the markets, which are an in, in, inanimate object okay, that are just facilitating the order flow. In the meantime, we're still short both gold and silver. Uh, the equities are all over the place, but right now, as we report, and they could be any, they could be anywhere from here when you see this. But the Dow is up, the Nasdaq—they're all up except for the Russell, which is down. And they were just all down. That may well be all be up. Surely, who knows where they're going to be? We're still short. That is the bottom line. And that is the side I'd prefer to be on, anyways. Right now, because I think that right now we're a seller of all rallies. Uh, the crude market is getting hammered once again. Uh, crude is now under $98 a barrel. Uh, who knows what's going on? But uh, again, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. It should lower the prices. Natural gas is lower. We're short both natural gas and crude. Uh, copper is lower once again. Copper is under 339 Okay. So we've been short for quite a while. And I told you it was going probably to three bucks, and here we go. Uh, on our way, uh, bonds and notes are both lower. We are long both the bonds and notes at the moment. Okay, much to my to my chagrin, the dollar continues to explode. It's almost a dollar seven, believe it or not. Uh, and of course, we're still long dollars. Uh, Bitcoin is down once again, but it's it's, it's kind of hovering around the twenty thousand level. Uh, we'll see what it does from here. Uh, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, you know, again, I think it, I like Bitcoin. We're still short, though. So just re remember, I will always disclose what my actual position is. I may give you my opinion at the same time. Uh, and of course, as we take a look at the grain markets, uh, grains are kind of flattish, but they were much higher earlier. Uh, I, I think we're in, unfortunately, I think we're in the real concern here of, pos of possible deflation, okay, which would be very ugly. Out of all, out of stagflation, inflation, or deflation, the worst is deflation, and that I think is part of the reason for the heavy selling. We'll see what it looks like, but uh, again, it, it's a little bit scary here. Uh, but we are short across the board, so obviously not so scary at the moment. Uh, cattle, the, the the protein complex is higher across the board. We're we're long cattle, short hogs, uh, and the softs. Cotton is lower, we're short. Cocoa is higher, we're short. Sugar is flat, we're short. OJ is flat, we're short. Coffee is flat. It's flat and we're short. Again, it's, it's still very challenging. It's a very tough market to be overly involved in. I would just recommend caution and being careful. In the meantime, don't forget about our sponsors, which are scrolling at the bottom or on the sides, Capital Trading Group, Trading bro Trader Brokerage, and of course, our high school program. In the meantime, as I tell you almost every day now, just be careful. There's nothing to get too excited about and no reason to get too overly aggressive here. Sit back, be patient, relax, and that's how you're going to make money, is not being in a hurry to make a bad trade. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow with another Bubba's Daily Update.